All right, let's do this quickly and very quietly because the the microphone on this cheap junk camera takes a decent uh, image, but there is no way to do auxiliary uh, sound input, so you basically have to whisper while holding the camera this close. Uh, what I'm going to show you right now is the the input and output of the LA-2A that I just finished uh, com uh, completed uh, testing and calibrating. And I'm going to show how to calibrate the meter uh, when in plus four mode, uh, how, you know, the external signal, the external level, and what it means uh, as far as how it, what it, what's displaying on the VU meter. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we have a, a zero, uh, a 1.2 volt uh, input signal or output signal coming out of my signal generator. It's about uh, 1k, uh, 1 kilohertz signal. And the meter, the blue meter on the left, is displaying the amount of uh, AC volts coming into the LA2A. And this one is going to be showing output. It's connected to the output XLR. Right. So, plus four mode as far as the VU setting is equal to 1.23 volts at about a 600 ohm load, which is what my signal generator uh, is uh, set at. And I'm gonna show you, okay, so now it's connected. We see the input voltage coming in. I'm gonna turn up, and this one is gonna show you on the meter. When it gets to zero on the meter, these two are about matching. So this is like it's basically unity gain um, and zero on the meter, right? All right, so the other thing you want to notice is when you put it in gain reduction mode, the meter is also displaying what is being reduced for gain. So right now there's nothing happening. There's no gain reduction on the meter at all. Uh, the gain reduction knob is all the way off. And you see these are the same. So now as you'll see, uh, plus, or sorry, a minus 10 dB drop, which will go to minus 10 on the meter, is going to go down to roughly 1.4 volts on the meter uh, that's hooked up to the output. So let's get this where we can see both. There we go. All right, so I start increasing the gain reduction. Gain reduction kicks in. And we get to minus 10, so 10 dB reduction. Of course, there's the 0.4 on the meter. So there's the before and after. There's a 10 dB drop. There's a 10 dB drop. Um, one other thing, just to show how the signal will drift back up, I'm disconnecting the signal, the signal generator from the unit. And without touching any dials, the unit should drift back to zero dB on the meter, right? That's the setting it should be. Now, if it doesn't, and this T4B is basically my uh, my test one, my test T4B cell. Uh, I have a, a kinetic, uh, really good T4B coming to, to ship with this unit. And I'll have to recalibrate a little bit what's, what's the, with the new T4B for this meter. As you can see, I'm gonna flip over, we're gonna go upside down, but right next to the meter right here, you can point down there, right there. That is the fine meter calibration between showing uh, zero on the meter and minus 10 with and without the signal applied. So you basically go back and forth with that, uh, with that pot, fine tune it, and then disconnect the signal and fine tune it for zero with the zero calibration on the front. That's about it. So with zero signal applied, right? No signal. It should sit around zero. And that's what this fine tuning is for. I mean, it's never gonna be 100% perfect. Uh, the scale doesn't, match on every possible uh, scenario in terms of the amount of input gain, the amount of gain reduction, 
but you know this is the basic uh, compromise for calibrating uh, an LA two-way meter in plus four mode. There you go, almost done. A few more tests to go, and uh, this thing will be ready to ship. Thanks.